All right, so I'm going to show how to disassemble an MSI model GP63 Leopard 8RE. So the screen, they actually um, don't have any screws holding this bezel in place, but they do use a double stick adhesive all the way around. If your screen is working fine, you don't want to mess around with this because if you do it wrong, you can actually damage the screen. But basically what you do is you would pull out from like the edges here. And then if you have like a thin pry tool, I use this. Um, I get it between um, the bezel and the adhesive and then you can kind of like slowly pull the adhesive away from the bezel and the clips are all at the bottom around this and around the edges um, but basically you would pull it and then the clips will pop there's clips holding this whole piece as well so for that you kind of want to pull the bezel down while you pull it out and it will unclip all of these okay I'm not going to do it because I don't want to risk damaging the screen but that's how you would get that out um, okay, so I'll flip it over. The model is also known as um, MS-16P5, but here you can see GP63 Leopard 8RE-013 US. Um, most of the assembly for the 8RE will basically be the same. The internals will just be different. So there's 11 screws on the bottom. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, um, seven and then eight nine ten eleven all right so once you remove those 11 screws um you'll see on the side that this side has just these usb ports um, this side has the audio jacks which the frame will get caught on it i already took this out so um, it's going to be easy for me but basically what you want to do is you get between the black layer and the red layer. I use my fingernails, but you can use a pry tool. And you kind of just um, go between the edges like this. Um, I use my thumb to kind of flex this up so it's easier. But you go all the way around and then just kind of keep following it. All right. The back, let me see if I can show this. The back, you'll basically follow the red part here. So... You just go along that. All right. Let me see. It's hard to do this with one hand while filming, but um, basically you'll get between the layers like that, and you just go all the way along this red thing. It'll be kind of tough to do it, but yeah, just pull on it and just be careful. You can pry this these clips a little bit, but don't pull up on the side with the audio jacks because once you get all of it. Um, you lift actually from this side. So when you lift, it goes like that, and then you can slide it off the audio jacks, okay? So this is what the bottom of the cover looks like. All right, you can see here, all right. And then inside the computer, you'll see um, there's the M.2 SSD. Um, this one's actually a SATA, I believe, but I don't know if it supports the NVMe or PCIe. You'll have to Google that to find out. Um, it looks like there's another slot for an SSD, which it says PCIe, so this should actually support the M.2s, um, the NVMe and PCIe. All right, and then here it says the SS SATA SSD. So I guess certain models will have like another M.2 um, or two of these, so you'll have actually room for three. So depending which model you have, you might be able to fit three of these SSDs. Um, this one is SATA only, it looks like, according to this label. This is PCIe. I don't know if this supports PCIe as well, but it looks like they're using an M.2 one, a uh, regular SATA SSD. Um, and then it has room for another SATA hard drive. So there's the screws here. So to remove that, you would remove these screws. Then you can actually lift this up and pull it back. All right. So it looks easy to remove. Then you got the wireless card to remove the antennas. You actually pull up from the back of the, the tail of the antenna. Don't try and pry from the front or you can break the thing off. And then um, try and get as close as possible. And then basically to put it back, you just push the thing back on top of the, the little circle um, connector. But when you do it, make sure to line it up before you press down or you can damage that. Then you can see the NVMe, I mean not the NVMe, the BIOS, uh, PC, uh, CMOS, or BIOS battery. Okay, alright, then you can see the little connectors here. 
I'm not too sure what those are. I don't want to pull it all apart. Um, I'm just kind of giving a little tour. But you can see there's like the little leaf. Those are LEDs. Yep. So those are the LEDs for the front panel. Um, that's what that thing is. So I'm pretty sure it's going under the speaker. And it looks like the speakers, you can just lift them out actually. Yeah. Yeah, so it just has these rubber things and you just lift them out. There's no screws. And the speakers are connected, so be careful not to just yank on it or you can break the wire. All right. And then the speakers, they're actually connected here. I don't know why they use such a big connector. Maybe some models have extra speakers, but it looks like the only half the pins are being used there. Then you can see the audio jacks, USB-C, I believe. Hard to tell from this angle. Yep, and all the ports. And you can see um, the video card and CPU are actually soldered in place, so you can't upgrade them. Um, if you need to clean the fans, you can easily clean them here. and just use like a little toothbrush. I usually hold the middle so that when I brush it, it slowly turns like this instead of just spinning freely. Um, I do that, and then I use like just a strong air air blower. I use an electric blower. I have a video on showing how to clean up the fans if you want to see that. Um, and then you can see the hinges are just held right here. All right, and then this is the battery. The battery looks actually pretty small for this laptop. I mean, most gaming laptops, you don't really use it on battery because it can't use the graphics card. Um, but yeah, and then you got the RAM. Just push those two aside. And it looks like this uses, what is that, PC4-2666V, so that's the RAM you'll need um, if you want to upgrade it. Alright, and that looks like it's pretty much it. It looks like most of the things are pretty easy to remove. The hard drives and SSDs are really easy to replace, if anything. And it looks like the CMOS battery would be kind of a pain. I think the cable is actually underneath the motherboard. But there is like a BIOS reset button here that goes through, I think it goes through the lid here actually, yeah. So if you need to do a BIOS reset or something, there's a battery reset right there. So if something goes wrong with your computer, you could always try pressing that button first. Um, okay, and it looks like this is the DC jack, yep, DC jack connector, and there's not much else to show here. I can actually see the keyboard um, connector under there, so yeah, I don't want to pull all this stuff out, but it looks like the speakers are easy to remove. You just lift them up and be very careful because they are like attached, it is attached to something. I don't want to just yank on it. Let's see, oh, that's the cable. So there you can see the keyboard. Yep, all right. So it looks like those cables go underneath. So it's kind of strange. I guess you'd have to take the whole motherboard out to remove those. But um, yeah, I've never seen a computer laptop built like that where they put the connectors underneath. Uh, that would be kind of a pain to remove, but that's pretty much it. Um, hope this video helped. Um, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comment section below. Um, I don't own these computers. I do these repairs for a living. So um, if you have any questions specific to the laptop, um, you'd probably be better off Googling it. But if you're not sure what to look, what to Google, um, just leave a comment and I'll try and help you as best I can. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Um, if this video helped you, please like and subscribe because that will help me out as well. And yeah, alright, hope to see you on another video. Bye.